Hello everybody, so as you can see, I have my device open it so you can see the internals here under this tape there are all the chips here's the battery okay now you asking why the hell I open the device well the thing is it doesn't charge when the system is turned on so I can charge when I'm turned off when the device is turned off but I'm unable to charge when the system is turned on so here we can see the all the assembled parts so what I will try to do is to uh, desolder the red wire and solder it back simply to see if I will fix the issue I'll also try to see if I don't have something um, broken there some SMD parts and maybe I will see if I can take this off to show you okay I'm, I'm not unable to this is sticked really well so if you're wondering I am protected by ESD so should not harm anything but I have to watch out not to make a short circuit of this batteries so you can see how big they are how thin and all the connectors here this is this is good okay so let's make our small test if it will work at least one more small sneak peek uh, so I will not remove it much further here you can see we have is that visible Samsung memory chips so Samsung memory chips and there are four actually so four 515 megabytes chips and there is the CPU from Intel the quad core Intel Atom so and this is normal sticker and on it, on it is metallic sticker that looks like on this corner it should transfer the heat <laughs> to the case so maybe in future I will buy an better stickers to transfer the heat but now let's push it back to its original place there and let's unsolder the red wire to see if it will help or not so I unsoldered the cable and resoldering and you can see I have my plug in my AC adapter so I will plug it in now but nothing happens at all as you can see doesn't charge still so I don't know I will maybe try to update the the battery info so I will maybe just make a stand here a stand so you are able to see what I'm doing so the so I will go to my computer 
manage device management and in batteries I will remove the micro SPI complex control method battery so there and I will try to refresh it but nope no change there so I'll try again once to remove it I'll try to restart the device and that will help I was searching the web really for the last two days and I found out also that uh, and no no change you can see it doesn't does not charge so I found out that also the uh, the Acer users have the same issue so I don't know what to charge what to test more shut down the thing is, it is charging while it is off, but uh, basically you don't have any screen as you can see, yeah, but it is charging, so I will try one more removing the battery, um, try turning on the computer, removing the ACPI uh, battery meter there. Uh, connect the battery or restart I don't know something something like that and we will see if this com combination will work or not so it didn't work as you can see no logo no boot screen logo oh well let's wait for someone who will make it repairable somehow but I think it is BIOS or the Windows issue for sure but mainly the UFI BIOS if you have any suggestions how to fix it let me know thanks